I am going to get set up for this React segment. Uh, like I said, I've reacted before, but it was to things that I was at least familiar with. Here, I'm literally gonna have no idea what I'm about to see. So, the first one, I see oranges. Um, I think, I am actually pretty surprised at that this is the first one. I was expecting some like, you know, target, you know, decor, canvas, stretched canvas kind of thing. But this, I actually really, really like. Uh, the brushwork, the texture is super nice. The composition is unique. Um, the reflections are cool. The, the sense of light in general is really cool. I mean, the oranges are nice and structural, uh, which I like, which I prefer. That's really just a, you know, a personal thing. Uh, I think is a winner. Uh, I don't recognize the signature there, so I don't know who it is. Uh, actually, it is Kara Bullock. So Kara Bullock, uh, I like your painting. It's good. Uh, I don't know what size this is. I would guess by the brushwork, it's relatively small. But uh, I like it. It reminds me of... Uh, David Chiefitz, but a little looser, which David Chiefitz, I mean, he's one of my, one of my favorites. So, uh, cool. I like it. So next. All right. So this has me a little confused. Um, I really like, I like the, the texture this has, I like kind of a diffuse kind of pattern that, that kind of like interrupts the face. I really like that. But what confuses me the most is that you can tell a lot of time and effort went into this face, right? And it seems to be relatively um, representational, except for maybe a little bit of a wonky upper lip. Um, but then the, the neck and shoulders in the hand are just super confusing. I don't know if that hand is supposed to be like that, super, super thin. Uh, it's kind of creeping me out. Uh, that could be what they were going for. Um, I'm not quite sure, to be honest. This is a, a situation where knowing the artist's intent would either improve or uh, decrease my uh, how 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 interested I am in this. Because if that's on purpose, I think it's super creepy and I think that adds something, but I also don't think that that's what, what they're trying to do. So that kind of detracts from it, just that overall ambiguity. Uh, overall, I think, I think the top half of this is absolutely awesome. Once you get down to like, uh, can I draw on this? Oh, I can draw here too. Once you get actually below that, that's where I start to to think what's going on here. But all this up here is pretty great. So uh, this is a, a mixed a mixed uh, reception. Uh, do I want to give numbers to these? I, I don't think that's necessary. Is it? I don't want to rate them. That's uh, a bit too much, I think. But anyway, let me get rid of that line here. So, up next. Uh, okay. We have a uh, little boy and little girl sitting on some grass. Uh, it's a little small, 
I mean, it's just a small uh, image. I don't know if this is actually small because there's a price right there, 1500 bucks. Um, I would think that with that price, it would be either a big name or a big painting. And it's Michael Vincent. Uh, I don't recognize that name, but that doesn't mean anything. Uh, he could be super, he could be like prolific. I'm just not, uh, not always caught up on my prolific artists. But anyway, um, my reaction to this is it's not my style. It's like, uh, uh, one of those, um, it's like a Hallmark card kind of thing. Um, it's well done. Uh, I wish I could see more of the brushwork, especially, oops, I'm looking at the wrong mouse. I have two, two mouse pointers right now. Um, I would like to see more of the brushwork specifically in that shirt and in some of these other grassy areas. But, um, I mean, it's, it's good. It's not something that I would personally want in like my own collecting or anything. It's, uh, but it's good. So that's a, that's a thumbs up Wait, in, in the camera though. There we go. Thumbs up, but, uh, not my bag. And it's also tough to say because it's so, so small. So the next one we have is, Ooh, this is intense this um i'm not a fan it's cool but as a painting these like super super saturated paintings really just like like the the, the previous one it's cool it's a really cool composition it's like a cool image but Man, I, I wouldn't want this on my, my wall. Although those purples, this section here, I have to see which mouse to find, here we go. This darker section, I guess the section that's arguably the most muted out of all of them, is I think the most interesting part of this. It really glows. And I don't know if that's on purpose or if they were just trying to mix blue into purple, into red, into yellow. But that section there just is really great. And I think there's some good stuff in the tree, but it's like rainbow, super saturated like style, which is big. I mean, uh, if I scroll down a little bit, you can see what I'm talking about. And actually I've talked about, I think this, no, it wasn't that exact painting, but maybe it was, I don't know. But that style is just, uh... Wait, what did I do here? There we go. Um, it's just not for me. So this gets a thumbs up, but again, not my bag. Um, what do we have next? Ooh. So my initial reaction is uh, cool. Uh, I like the brushwork. I like, I like the color palette. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> I like the color palette. It's um, pastel, but also the red um, kind of breaks that. So it's it's got a an energy to it, you know. With uh, what I'm guessing is palette knife work. Uh, it's hard to tell these sections here oops here and like some of the petals uh really look like like palette knife but then obviously this is not that's that's brush so it's either mixed or maybe it's just all brush and it's uh it's just uh this person's specific style uh, this doesn't have a name uh associated with it uh in the thumbnail but uh I like it. I think it's a an interesting uh, flower painting. Uh, it's both kind of gloomy and optimistic at the same time. Um, you know, gloomy in the sense that the, the flowers are wilted, and it's almost like they're coming in from the top, 
which is something I I haven't seen um, in terms of like flower painting composition. But at the same time, it's such a wildly vibrant red that that the artist is using, and it's it's hard to it's hard to keep it gloomy in that regard with the the color. So I don't know if it's if it's profound in that way or if it's just um, if it was accident um, but uh, I like it. I think this flower the one that's a bit more like pastel pink uh, kind of clashes a bit I mean yes there's this pink down here it makes sense color wise but I think continuity wise it's the only one like that I mean I'm sure there's you could argue there's some compositional merit there, but uh, thumbs up. I'd hang this on my wall. Starry Nights. Um, this looks like a weird cropping, like from the original. I, I, I'm not terribly uh, well versed on Van Gogh. Um, I'm guessing this brush whiz, they sell prints or something um i don't know if i even really need to say anything about starry night um it's van gogh <laughs> uh lady Nina says i feel like i've seen that before you absolutely have this is van gogh the guy who uh cut his ear off whether it was because he wanted to impress you know a, a, a girl or if he had um lead poisoning because he used lead paint we'll never really know but uh i i come from the school that thinks he had lead poisoning from lead, lead white paint and that caused him not only to go crazy and cut his ear off but also paint the way he did um because apparently lead poisoning makes you see halos around lights so uh, it makes sense maybe poison yeah i figure and that's why i stay away from lead paint um, because i don't want to cut my ear off anyway i'm not going to say too much about that it's van gogh i can't like i can't say anything about van gogh with a clear conscience not that i really have anything bad to say about it anyway so next we have some mountains ola darchuk um cool i mean i like it i like that uh it's not just your typical um bob ross painting uh it, it you know bob ross this could easily be a bob ross painting in terms of subject matter but the colors uh you know the artist takes some liberties with with colors the trees are not super dabby uh, that drives me crazy dabbing the tip of the brush i think it's kind of gimmicky uh, so this has a little bit more interesting brushwork, in my opinion, uh, in the trees. The mountains, I think, aren't painted as well as like the Bob Ross in terms of like how they look. Uh, but they get a thumbs up for the color. I think this, I, I think actually this section in here does not fit very well i mean obviously the color palette is different it's more of like this you know vibrant yellow um with the same green just makes it kind of clash with everything else being cool but also i don't think it's painted nearly as well i mean here it looks like it just kind of stops abruptly right here rather than continuing like across behind the trees so it kind of just looks like oh crap i need to put something there in the middle uh so that that section kind of bugs me actually down here this section right here i think is the the best in my opinion uh in terms of interest uh in terms of color brushwork is interesting uh it really glows which is funny because it seems pretty obvious that they were trying to make these mountains really really glow with with the contrast that they use the colors that they used but this i think is the glowiest part of this and i really like that section in general i'd say thumbs up i like it 
ah, uh, this is the painting that I've reacted to already. And this one, I'm not going to say anything about it. It's in the same uh, vein as the other super, uh, super saturated rainbow painting that we did. It's cool, but it's not for me. Seems a little gimmicky. Uh, so, yeah. Ah, bird. Uh, so, uh, I don't see an artist here. I don't recognize the name. Looks like Aim. Aim. No, not Angel. An, Anal. I don't know. I'm not even going to try and read that. It looks like it starts with an A, but who knows? Um, this uh, is very. Um, what's that guy's name? I'll pay F.A. F.E. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but uh, does a lot of this like flat brush, brush work uh, stuff. Um, you know, exaggerated colors, like pastel colors. Uh, he does a lot of like poppy stuff. So like um, he's painted the Mandalorian I've seen, uh, some other like pop culture icons. Uh, one thing that this artist doesn't do is Alpefi will will like to like cross brush work from the the negative space into the subject which this doesn't doesn't do um but this is definitely giving me some vibes of that same person uh I think this is a nice little painting uh I would hang this up um I don't typically like animals but in this case, I think it's well done. I think the beak is, is man, I keep looking at the wrong mouse pointer. I think the, uh, and actually, I don't think my mouse is actually synced up. I don't know, who knows? But anyway, um, the beak's cool, the face is cool in general. The, the um, what's the word I'm looking for? The gesture, I think, is cool. Uh, it has a lot of personality. Uh, I like it. I would hang that in my studio. Um, okay. We have a tree. Um, it's a little, little gimmicky, I think. Um, uh, until he chases you down the, the bird. Okay. So when I was little, there was, my sister had a bird and it used to chase me. There, I've said it. <laughs> it's not my proudest moments. <laughs> the thing was horrifying. It had to have been like three or four or something. So I don't want to hear it. Anyway, I think this, um, the actually, it's hard to tell without more pixels, but the tree itself looks very, very well painted and intricate i think the grass is a little like scratchy uh, and gimmicky but i do think it works in a very like illustrative uh way but this like splatter stuff it's cool it makes a cool image but as a painting I mean, it's probably not even splatters. It's probably stippling little dots. Um, I like it. I like the image. Would I hang it up? If I had it. But uh, I would not pursue this. So, uh, thumbs up. I got to err on this, the positive side. Because I am notoriously negative. So next, we have the screen. I'm not going to say anything about this. It's Edward Monk. It's literally up there with Van Gogh. I'm not going to say anything. Uh, this actually is not showing the full thing. Uh, essentially, it's a, uh, a rowboat, I guess, uh, on a shore. Um, this is something where this is another reason why I don't really like canvas and that's that you can see the, the like canvas like like pattern 
uh, in some areas. I don't like that. You can get away with it, or you can get rid of it if you uh, gesso the crap out of your canvas and sand it every time, and you can get rid of some of that. But I feel like it's distracting in this area that should be, you know, this very like like stripy area, right? With with all this uh, this grass coming up out of the water, but that that pattern just kind of breaks that up and it's just very distracting to me um i think this grass the pattern i can't tell I, I, part of me likes it i like the color usage i think the brushwork might be a little over the top for the rest of the painting but uh oh i do not want to i want to scroll here we go the sky Looks pretty good. I like the sky. It's very painterly. You know, you can see brush strokes. But again, you see the, the canvas's texture, which just personally, I don't like. Um, would I hang this up in my studio? Yeah, I think so. I think the painter knows what they're doing. I just wish that certain things were executed a bit differently, but that's, that's just my opinion. We have another one. Another super saturated, uh, over the top rainbow painting. Um, I'm not going to say anything about it. The same critique stands. This is actually what I expected to see a lot of in the top, um, the top Google image searches for oil painting. Um, I think there's a big market for this type of thing, but it is not interesting to me in the slightest okay i very very much like this painting uh this is from will kemp art kemp art school i don't know if that's the artist or if it's a student there but this i like this the color just the palette in general is basically complimentary. I think the spoon is my favorite part. I mean, look at how few brush strokes there are on this spoon and how well it has captured the fact that it's reflective and is reflecting that cup. I mean, you can see the reflected light on the dark side of the cup here. You have this highlight right here, and then you have this other side of the cup here. Uh, it's super obvious that it's reflective, but with such few brush strokes, that is not easy to do. I do like the, uh, the outer edge, even though it's oblong and not super round, I think like, making this edge really fuzzy works i think it makes it look okay that it's that it's not like like it's a little like oblong like i think that would be closer to i mean it's still not good but, but uh i think it works i think it works compositionally it looks like It looks more like what I was saying Al Effie does with his animals, kind of pulling the, the negative space into the, the subject. This is kind of the opposite, pulling the subject out into the negative space. And it's just great brushwork in general. I do think it's a, maybe a little, a little clumpy here around the top of the saucer. That's one thing that if I can give this a bad critique, I, I would say that. Um, but I think everything below that is just so well done. Uh, not only do you get a thumbs up, but you get an applaud. I love this. I would very much like to have this. And actually, it looks like, hold up, there is, I guess that's a detail. Um, there we go, I'm back. 
So it looks like it's not the whole thing. This looks like it has a bit more contrast in some areas, like in the shadows. Um, and seeing the top edge, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I'm guessing this was just a, uh, this, this corner looks a bit too dark. So I'm going to fill that in there. Uh, so it looks like this is more of a finalized version. I don't, I do think that either it's a very different photographer who's, who's getting more of the, uh, the darker colors in this, or it's just further along. I actually like it better like this, to be completely honest. I, I think the composition is more interesting uh, than the full thing, but maybe they're not the same thing. Maybe they're not even the same artist. Who knows? But I think I think that kind of gives it away. That's pretty obvious, but who knows? I like it either way. 